Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lost Game Archive here. We found another one for you. This is Castlevania. This is a uh, port of the original NES done for mobile phones, uh, flip phones, for AT&T branded phones, I guess, on their network. Not sure if it was on other networks at the time, uh, but this one was done internally by Konami. So there is quality behind this one. And an interesting story that this port leads into a full-fledged uh, sequel, I guess, or follow-up from the same team uh, to another much-loved mobile one that probably many people don't forget that stars a different uh, Belmont that we might talk about in the future. But today we're going to focus on Castlevania for mobile phones. Now, this is the the game it's kind of weird we'll get to it as we play um but it's it's a strange way to do castlevania that i am a little bit on the fence about uh but i see what they were trying to do so let's just jump into it and take a look at the quality for something on the mobile phones so this one of the few games if you can hear that hopefully i'll bump up a little bit of the audio but you know what castlevania sounds like uh, it has full sound Music is rocking and rolling, uh, and it's just a port of the original. And that should have dropped me something, I think. Oh, well. From the NES. And I think it looks pretty good even in today's standards. Um, we're talking kind of close to GBA quality if they did kind of a remake on that, which I believe they did. They did a ton of that stuff. But we're getting close to those sorts of lines. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get doubled up here. So if you know Castlevania, you kinda know the setup, but it is done a little bit differently. There's kind of no map screen or anything like that. It's a pretty straightforward stage to stage affair. Now, what's interesting about the stages is that every time you pass through a door, the game considers it a stage. So this is technically stage two of the affair. And once and once we pass uh, another door, it'll be the third stage. And that's going to become important. Here we got the fisherman. Oh, I thought I hit you. This is one of the most annoying parts early on in the game for me, for sure. And we dealt with them. Okay, so there is knockback. The game is structured correctly. The enemies are in the right spots. The secrets are in the right spots, although they sometimes they do drop a little bit strangely. Let's get out of that way. Uh, just like the original, at least I'm pretty sure like the original... Uh, they, everything spawns, respawns endlessly. So you can just sit here and they'll keep coming. But So this would be, I think, stage three. Is that the third door we went through? I believe it was the third door we went through. Yeah, it should be the third door because here's the boss. And the boss will show up after the third stage because this is that first big bat boss. which of course was much harder. This is a very simplified version of Castlevania. It's the easiest one, is it orbs, that you're gonna be playing. That doesn't make it any less fun, but uh, probably along the lines of the Game Boy ones, in terms of difficulty, if, if I was gonna kinda compare it to anything. Oh, I want the cross, I really do, thank you. So that would be stage three, so this would be four. And that music, man, that music is... That would have sold me on this game back in the day. The platforming is... I'm not going to say good. The originals wasn't great either. It was a lot easier to control. It's just difficult. Oh, I didn't want to get the time stop, the watch. It's just difficult because of the controls. It's a little easier since I've mapped... Um, a numpad to a gamepad. But if you were playing this on a of-the-time mobile phone, 
it would have been much harder. There we go. We got this, boys. I've actually played this a bunch. So when I do these videos, um, a lot of the times I'll get a little bit of uh, practice time in right before a stream. But for the most part, I like to go in blind so we can experience things together. Don't want to go that way. But this one was so much fun that I've actually played it through uh, three or four times. And I think that's a testament to the game itself in terms of just how good Castlevania was. So let's wait. These ones are tricky. They are not quite the same as the Nintendo version. You actually really do have to wait till they go all the way up because if you come even near them, the hitboxes on your guy, like even there, if I went... Um, you're going to get instant killed on that. And you do have lives still. Flaming skulls. Here we go. Don't jump. Don't jump. Jump, jump, jump. These guys don't turn around. Wish I still had the cross. Oh, I walked right into them. We got him. We got him. Okay. So what stage are we? Is this five? Or is this six? This is five, I believe. We'll see. We'll come up here. No, maybe this is six. Oh, took damage. I don't want this knife. I really want the cross. Okay, so this is stage six. So this is where things are going to get weird. Uh, yeah, this is okay. So you, the Medusa fight is the same. Now, what is interesting... Oh, hit too many buttons at once. Is that this is the final boss of the game. I know that sounds weird, but there were three releases of this original Castlevania in Japan. And one was released in North America and Europe. And so what I believe happened is that they broke up the game into three parts, simplified it. So this is part one. Part two is the middle section of the game, and part three is the end where you fight Dracula. So you have to get all three, I think, if I'm not mistaken, to get a complete thing. And that's the end. There should be a screen here, but I think the ROM's a little jacked up because it, it might be the Japanese one. Uh, and it'll take us back to the beginning. Yeah, you just kind of saw a flash there. Um, and that's it for Castlevania. So, like I said, there was three releases... And I believe they completed the series, but North America and uh, Europe only got this first chunk. And this is really well done, uh, really competent, but really easy. Uh, I don't know how much it would have cost back in the day, but if it was a couple of bucks, maybe I'd be all right with it because of the quality. Uh, and the team actually stuck together to create another Castlevania game in this series. I forget the name of it, Shadow of something. It has a new Belmont, and he goes into the castle to save his two sisters, I believe. Uh, and that one is actually pretty well liked in Japan, and I believe even here on the West. So we'll probably find that. Uh, we'll also try to track down the other two parts. So when Castlevania does get uh, entered into our uh, abandoned kind of lost game museum, you'll be able to see all three parts. But aside from that, uh, this is it. As you can see, there's only six stages, so you can't go any higher. Uh, and the difficulty is only easy or normal, so we're playing on the hardest one. Here's your uh, instructions, whip, alt, jump, all that stuff, kneel, and alternate. So now what's interesting about alternate is that there are two game modes. And the second game mode, start right away, uh, is only an item run. So essentially what Castlevania people did is like, can you do it with only a certain type of item or play the game with uh, only items and no whip? This does that for you. So you don't have access to your whip. You just have access to the array of items. And at least you get all the items right off the bat. You don't have to collect them. But you do have to focus on picking up hearts and stuff. And if you do pick up an item as you play, it will switch you out. So that is something to watch out for. And for me, of course, I'll just stick with the, uh, with the cross... 
even though I believe that takes the most hearts away. But it's just, it's an OP weapon. So that's a fun little addition to the game that does give it a little bit more replay value. Um, playing this a bunch, I don't think there are alternate paths. There's no, you're, you're, it's pretty linear in terms of what direction you can and have to go. Uh, and I haven't found any secrets of the like, but that's not necessarily a, a bad thing. We're talking about a mobile phone version of the original Castlevania, and I think they did a pretty, pretty stellar job. And I'm not being chased by... Oh, that bullet's not going to go away. There we go. You see, see what I mean? I'm playing again. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to run it through with my weapon of choice but that's it for today thank you guys for checking us out if you like what we do if you want to help out the archive the best thing you can do right now is like comment subscribe share the video let us know what old mobile games you had or old vr games that you can't have access to that have been delisted we'll do our best to look them up uh, and add them to the list and track them down for you guys uh, so until next time you guys have a fantastic day night morning whatever it may be wherever you are and hopefully we'll see you again in the future real soon. See you guys.